Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we done a couple of Wu officers, now let's dip back to Shu and do Wei Yan stage. In 234 AD, a showdown between the armies of Shu and Wei was about to begin at Wujang Plains. For this battle, Shu's Zhuge Liang insisted on a defensive strategy, but Shu General Wei Yan disregarded his orders and charged furiously towards the enemy lines. Wei Yan was often misunderstood, as his daunting appearance and callous demeanor often alienated him from friend and foe alike. Zhuge Liang proclaiming that he had an aura of defiance did not help matters either. But Wei Yan knew that his lord Liu Bei had accepted him into his camp because he respected his abilities as a warrior. Wei Yan would repay the confidence shown in him by the lord, but in his own way, no words were needed, only victory in battle. Okay, so for this you're not allowed bodyguards, but items are okay. Alright, so I got the level 11 Meteor Strike, which is a level 18 Peacock Urn, 14 Nanmon Armor, 16 Cavalry Armor, and level 19 Herbal Remedy, meaning I have good arrow and horseback defense, lots of HP, and very powerful charge attacks. So for that, I'm going to dis or unequip the Peacock Urn. Probably put on, let's see, what would be good to have at this point? I think we're gonna go, well, I already got the Elixir on. Maybe I'll go with the Wind Scroll to increase my range. Now there are two ways you can actually win this battle. Defeat all the three Way Officers over there which will trigger another way officer. You gotta defeat those three in two minutes to get it. Or, if you're too slow, then you have a different force to fight. So what I'll do, I'll defeat some Why of the way forces, but I don't want to defeat them all. It will just make the battle way too short if it lasts like three minutes. Besides, these officers are in hyper mode, so they're not going to be super easy to beat. Don't even try it, soldiers. Many people will say that the reason Wei Yan has an aura of defiance was because he was born with two heads or two faces. They're saying that's the reason why he would betray easily. But. That's probably just some Three Kingdoms lore, or Dynasty Warriors lore, where in Three Kingdoms he actually had one face. He was just known as very hot-headed. That being said, however, let's just deal with the other officer, uh, Xia Ho He. Yeah, whenever you defeat one, the others will be angry, so they'll be even stronger. But that should be of no worries. Go. Maybe Secret of Orbs could have been good here as well. It's not needed. Oh, I almost got the other one. There we go. Boost my defense a little bit. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to defeat all three of them within two minutes. Two out of three ain't bad. Where's the other one, too? Oh, over there in that corner. Alright, I'll head there right away. Maybe it's two minutes, or it could be three minutes. I'm not sure. Okay, now they're actually going to stop attacking me. Great, so now the Shu forces see me as an enemy. Wave forces will run away, now I gotta fight my own forces. Did it just start raining, or was it always raining? I don't know. Either way, it looks like I have to battle for Shu now. So this should be pretty interesting. So yeah, there are two ways to finish the stage. One is super fast, but requires a lot of speed and attack power. By order of the Prime Minister. The 
other, which is more likely, is longer, but gets you more battle experience. Alright, eliminate the shoe officers to prove your might, so just go for whoever you can. Oh, Guan Xing arrived. Okay, he's probably just over here. Okay, they spelled surrendering wrong there. I only saw one R. Usually you're supposed to see like two of them together. Which means surrendering is supposed to be like three R's overall, not two. They activated a bridge layer. Wait, what did John Bao arrive? He was dead before the battle of John Plains. I think it was around the battle of Chen Song that he died. Or Mao Chi, I'm not sure. Oh, John Wei showed up. He's gonna be in hyper mode. Jeez, a lot of these are in hyper mode. A lot of them are on horseback, too. Ah! Archers. Yeah, there's a whole wall of them. He's John Wei's over to the northwest. I might end up ignoring him. Actually, I'd rather go after him. Otherwise, it's just too short. There he is. He's going for me directly. Perfect. Now, to get his weapon, you could, you know, like, defeat it the easy way or the fastest way. Or, if you're doing it the hard way, try to defeat all the officers, and you'll get over 200 to 300 KOs. Ouch. So, there's two ways you can get the weapon as well. Wei In was actually the first character I got a level of weapon as. I tried it one way, didn't work. Because I got killed by Zhang Wei. The second way actually did work, so I was faster. Jeez, I got three officers after me. Okay, make that two. Where did Zhang Wei go? Did I beat him? No, I didn't. He's they're overlapping each other. In fact, they're super close. There. It's one problem out of the way. It was you. Okay, finally I penetrated the guard. It's gonna take one more combo, I say. I think it's gonna be two combos. Nope! Never mind. I didn't even need to complete that one. It's all the same. They fight, they die. Surprisingly, I'm now on the Wei forces. Even though I didn't really join Wei. Did Wei Yan ever join Wei? I don't remember that part. It might have happened. Probably after that whole betrayal thing. So, anyways, enjoy the ending. Shu Officer, born in the Yi Yang region. Formerly an officer under Han Xuan, Wei Yan admired Liu Bei's charisma and ultimately betrayed Han Xuan when Liu Bei invaded his territory in Changsha. It appeared Wei Yan would finally be able to serve Liu Bei, but Zhuge Liang was distrustful of him and sought to have him executed. But at the behest of Liu Bei, he was finally allowed into service. After fighting in campaigns in Yi, Hanzhong, and Nanjiang, Wei Yan quickly became a valued officer in the Shu army. When the Northern Campaign began, Wei Yan was eager to invade Chang'an, but Zhuge Liang insisted on a conservative strategy which Wei Yan followed until the showdown of Wuzhang Plains, where he was no longer able to contain his bloodlust. Wei Yan became a demon on the battlefield, cutting down enemy after enemy. All that stood in his way fell victim to his bloody rampage. After the battle, Wei Yan vanished. From Shu's standpoint, the moment he disobeyed orders, Wei Yan became a traitor, 
and he no longer had a place in Shu. Perhaps Wei Yan knew that as well. And there you go, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Next episode, we're gonna play as Sunsa of Wu. See ya, everybody.